Pals in it. Pals. Steph, I want to get out ahead of this uh, to maybe mitigate the possibility that we get canceled. We tried watching Hellboy, oh. and uh, we're like, hey, we're going to watch the first one. We've never seen it. And uh, it, it had, uh, what's his name from uh, uh, Black Widow and Stranger uh, Things? David, David Arbor. Ar- David Arbor. I was like, this is interesting. I didn't realize he was the first Hellboy. We got through the entire movie before we realized this is not the first Hellboy at all. And we were like, wow, the visual effects holds up so well for like being 20 years old. What is going on, everybody? I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Steph Zabra. Hello. And we are going to watch Hellboy, the 2019 version with David Arbor. Thanks so much for joining. If you're watching on YouTube, you're seeing a cut-down version of our reaction, as we can only show a limited amount of picture-in-picture. Picture. If you'd like to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, head over to our Patreon page or become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction. You'll just need your own copy of the film, so you can open it up. In an adjacent window to our reaction, we give you a 3 to one countdown sync, and it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet. If you're watching on Patreon, our memberships already. Thank you so much for supporting us here. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications. Pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. The immortal witch Vivian Nimue had spread her deadly plague, threatening to wipe mankind off the face of the earth. King Arthur. Yes, that King Arthur. <laughs> were forced to surrender to Nimue. The Queen of Blood. Well, well, well. The great King Arthur. Oh! I love her. Arthur ambushed Nimue. Oh, and there she goes. Off to make another Resident Evil sequel. Betrayed by her most trusted witch, denied her. No mortal weapon can harm me. Uh-oh. This is no mortal weapon. Yeah. Pissed off, Nimue unleashed her <laughs> deadly play. Oh, wow, ill karate. Of his legendary sword. Yikes. Arthur severed the Blood Queen's head. I think it's definitely rated R. <laughs> God damn. I am vengeance eternal. No! Poor thing. Arthur then ordered his bravest knights to ride off and bury her wretched remains in the far reaches of the land where no one wow. would ever find her. Uh-oh. Ruiz is my friend. I just want to bring him back. Three weeks ago, we sent Ruiz to investigate a nest of vampires. We haven't heard from him since. I'm on it. A reliable source told me where I can find him. Come on, I'm here to bring you back in. Come on, buddy. Let's go. So come on. Training. Training for what? you. Oh man. This is the wrong fight. You look good in purple. It totally looks like he could take on Hellboy. Actually. Wow, I was that was surprising. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. That was very unexpected. Come on. I don't want to hurt you, partner. You played the hero, but I really know what is under your mask. Oh, yeah? Is that so? Let's see what's under yours. Luis, you don't look good. He looks like an orc from Lord of the Rings. Oh, no. Oh, it's getting now worse. It's different. Oh, it's getting way worse. <gasps> Your heart beats with rage. I know which side you'll choose at the end. Not sad. Why'd you bring me back anyway? Okay. Don't tell me it's because you miss me. Do you recall the Osiris Club? Oh, yeah. Strip joint in Jersey. Now, the other one. The British Alcohol. <laughs> I want to eat hel- pizza with Hellboy. They're old friends of mine, and they've requested your assistance with a giant problem. Oh, yeah? What's that? <laughs> Giants. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> nice cut.
This is not the strip joint. Lord Adam Glaren, and may I introduce my associates, Dr. Edwin Karp and August Swain. Oh, hi. You guys ever been to the Osiris Club in Jersey? <laughs> like this, but just with strippers. <laughs> Giants once dominated the British Isles. Vile, loathsome creatures as likely to eat you as look at you. They've always been a problem. Bodies buried all over England. Allow me to introduce our resident seer, Lady Elizabeth Hatton. I made contact with that night was exceptionally powerful. It warned something was coming. And that we had been chosen to seek it out and destroy it. We've aged a snail's pace in order to fulfill that mission. And the thing you worried about, did it show up? You did. <gasps> oh, shit. The night that you came into the world. Germany was all but defeated. But the Nazis still had one last trick up their sleeve. Pesky Nazis. Professor Broom and myself were working with the Allies at the time. We led a secret mission to the island to kill whatever abomination was summoned from the depths of hell that night. Is it gonna be a baby? A little red baby. We found you. Because he didn't remember this at all. Hey. Giant baby. Yes. That's some cutting edge CGI, baby. Your father never told you, did he? Why he was really there that night. Must have slipped his mind. Rasputin brought you in the world as a weapon. With patience and understanding, Broom turned that weapon into a force for good. Patience and, and he raised you as his own son. You should get some rest, Hellboy. The hunt will assemble at dawn. I think I'd last all of two hours on a vow of silence. Man, that guy got properly squished. You know what I'm looking for. Where is it? He's still keeping his vow of silence. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh. That is gross. Oh, man. They'll use the bridge to cross. We can take up positions in the brush on either side. Yeah, it seems like a perfect spot for an ambush. My thoughts exactly. Oh, my gosh. Tell me he's got, like, some crazy healing powers, right? Wait, what? Bring him down! You guys turned on him like this? We needed your help to kill something we've been hunting for centuries. Uh. When Lady Hatton first told me about her vision and what needed to be done, I was hesitant. Broom was so certain of your potential and you have done. So much good. How much more of this? Jeez. Well, then why are you enjoying killing him then? If it's any consolation, your head will make a wonderful addition to our gallery. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> well, someone had to save him, right? Right. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Ew. Yo, that is so gnarly. God damn. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, shite. It's a bad day. It's a bad day. Oh, 
Oh, shh. <laughs> what did you think he was going to do with that? I didn't think, I forgot how strong he was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Nice. Oh. Oh. Oh, I, for, I didn't know I had a tail. Woo! Oh, I thought he was going to go for the head. Me too. Uh, is that my Uber? Is that my Uber? <laughs> yeah, who's picking you up? Maybe the dad sent people. I don't think so. I think this is a completely different group that's been kind of tracking things for a while, like conspiracy theorists. Mm. Hardly a scratch left. You heal fast. Yeah. Where am I? Bacon, eggs, and back pudding, dear. You look like you could use a proper English breakfast. Go on. With some Jaffa cakes? Sit down before you fall down. Mm. How did I get here? Man with a van. Actually, four men. You owe me 300 quid, by the way. I'm sorry, do I know you? Yeah, who are you? Beware the Jabberwock, my son. The jaws that bite. The claws that catch. Jub Jub Bird. And shun the fruit from you. Bandersnatch. I'm not following. Alice. Did he save her when she was a kid? Little Alice okay. Monahan. Not so little Alice Monahan. <gasps> He's from hell. Probably tastes good anyway. If it weren't for the dead, I never would have found you. They keep blathering on. Ten quid. Too. Especially mum and dad. Back then, that was like 20 bucks. US. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know. Why would you? Maybe if you'd given a flying fig and checked in on me once in the past 20 years. No, he doesn't. Just let me deal with it. More dead people? I told you, they never shut up. They're saying I should kill you while I have the chance. <coughs> you see? Everybody seems to have that idea. <laughs> that I've got a shotgun under the table loaded with angel bones aimed right at your todger. Angel bones. Interesting. Seems like everybody wants me dead nowadays. Mm. They give you a reason. Only that the end is coming. And it'll be you that brings it. Best thing got them. Google translate that, would you? Give me just something a friend told me, you know. Like a prophecy. Does he have no agency in this situation? Right. <laughs> <laughs> he was legit scared it was going to happen. <laughs> I know you better. Besides, I still owe you one for saving my life when I was just a kid. So what are we doing down here? Avoiding the glass. <laughs> oh, what? I love that. She's fun. That's my boy. They do a good job of making him relatable. Hello, son. Yeah. I just don't know why you were so angry with me. You couldn't have knocked? <laughs> I can't believe you showed up on Nazi Island all those years ago just to kill me. Yeah, that's right. I bumped into your old flame, Lady Hat, and she uh, filled me in on a couple of the missing pieces of our family narrative. Vivian Nimue, also known as the Blood Queen. An immortal 5th century sorceress. Amongst her power, she has a plague that almost wiped Britain off the map, and this time it could be the world. So, want me? She comes with. <laughs> it's like Psychic migraine. It's like a car crash in my head. Something terrible happens here. Yeah, something... Terrible did happen. Can we go in now? Stay, help him! Are you home screaming? Alice. Oh man. I know you. Is that a part? Oh, oh no, shit. you got the last part. Fascinating. Never have I seen a creature quite like you. Uh-oh. Nimoy. Such power, such glory. 
this potential. There is no reason for us to be enemies. We can be. We will replant Eden together. I might fall for that too. Yeah, I, mean, I was about to say the same thing. I'd have a hard time saying no to Mila Jovovich. What, what, what is this? Oh, he's got some poison he's got to keep under control. Okay. Mm. Pain is fleeting compared to 1,500 years locked in a box. I only live to save my queen. I see a new path laid out before me. One that would lead to far greater glory. And your Hellboy is the key. Hellboy. You're sure this is going to work? A lot of people have tried to kill him already. Not with something like this, they didn't. It's cast from Judas Silver, mixed with the blood of Saint Dominic, blessed by the Holy Father himself. It will work, I assure you. Make sure it's a kill shot. Either the heart or the brain. The heart it is. Hellboy's brain is too small a target. Rude! You made me a goddamn weapon. I just wanted to help you become the best you. Oh. If you uh, loved me, That's maybe a good point. you could talk to some of your human friends that would want to see me dead, rather than unleashing me to slaughter. It's quite a predicament for him. Going up. His left hand looks so small Ooh. next to his right. With the glove and all. Definitely. Going down. It's almost like he's got a gimp hand or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Push off. Going down. Shit. You're going to hell. Uh -oh. I don't think this is actually part of the building. Tell you what, let's break out the yacht. Otherwise, I'm not interested. I thank your hunger. Oh god, this lady. Okay. Prepare the feast for you. The tales from the crypt lady. So flexible. It's kind of kinky. Ew. Uh... <laughs> no. You don't find that attractive at oh, all. Oh yeah, it's so sexy. <laughs> Talk about foreplay. <laughs> I want one to replace what you took from me. That's not gonna happen, sister. Just tell me where to find him away first. This is a sacred bargain. Once made, it cannot be broken. What do you want in writing? Let's seal it with a kiss. Oh no, please God no. Please don't do that. Oh no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! Go away! What? Ew! Yucky ducky, oh my god. Throw up. Absolute. I would have projectile vomited straight into her face. She will need to reclaim her blood in order to restore her power. There's still like residue on his mouth. Why isn't he wiping it off? No, this will hurt a lot. You swore! You'll get your eye. And here's my curse that you have two eyes to see the thing you love most in the world. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna lose his pops. Yeah. We're on a clock! Glad to see you straighten your priorities out. You I'm not taking orders from you, alcohol. old man. I'm just drawing my own line in the sand. Ew, ew, uh, I... Uh -huh. Please give me a mint. <laughs> so, that was so nasty. Disgusting. Can you imagine being him and, like, as the actor being told, okay, so wait, what are we, what's gotta happen? <laughs> you want me to do what? It's gonna haunt my dreams tonight. Yeah. Maybe you think I got these scars from shaving. What happened? Now we get to find out why he pumps his body full of that medicine. All the while that we were hunting it, in reality, it was hunting us. Mm. Oh my... Mauled him. I was the only survivor. I'm so sorry. But what did it do to him? 
I must reclaim what is mine. The others will be here soon. What about Hellboy? If he comes, I have a little surprise in store. Go find the Blood Queen, we can handle this. She'll spread her plague if you don't stop her. There's no time! Go! No, I'm not leaving you. No! Stop Nimue! Can't y'all run together? I mean... Looking better already. Ready to take over the world. Uh-oh. And hotter. Uh-oh. Hellboy's gonna fall for her. Yeah, I wouldn't blame him. For me and my sisters. Have mercy. Did you show me mercy? Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Whoa. Gosh. You must do something for me first to prove your newfound loyalty. Take Hellboy to the one who can show him his destiny. I hope I'm not late to the party. Yeah, like, what are you gonna do against them? Just in time. Yeah, how can anyone beat her? Get up there. Oh, wow. cool. What? what just happened? She just leveled up. She can punch their soul out. <laughs> she traded in her XP points for some powers. I would want her powers. We belong together, you and I. We do, but this is not gonna work, you know, because I'm a Capricorn and you're <laughs> 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 What a great Demon line! You, and I will it. Hellboy! Hellboy! Oh what? Oh what? Go to Blackfen. High atop the cliffs, there's an old goat path hidden in the rocks. There's still a chance if we act quickly, but you must promise me something in return. That you will do whatever is necessary to destroy Nimue. I thought he was gonna ask for his eye. I can damn well guarantee it. I and then I Whoa, what the hell? Oh. Oh my. Where that's going. <laughs> right. Who's the new guy? You don't believe me if I told you. Hey, hey! Why did you do that? Let your friends rest, they'll be fine. Even with those gross nails, I'd hang out with him. I need a good, re good night's rest sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> the bloodline continued when Arthur had a daughter, an ending with Sarah, Bethany, Hughes. And on Walpurgis Night, 1574, she married that demon. Kinky! Oh, is that how Hellboy came about? Where she delivered a son. Anangunram. The last part I heard that before, what is that? It's you. Oh, shit. Which is why I know you are the only one who can do what must be done. A demon and... Part of the King Arthur lineage. That's wild. The one weapon that can oh. stand against Nimue. And you got a new toy. Uh, Sword of the Stone. The <laughs> Only a true descendant of Arthur can wield it. It is your birthright, Hellboy. That's a cool twist. This is how you will destroy the Blood Queen. That's cool. That is cool. Oh shit. That looks awesome. Whoa. That's some Book of Revelations type shit. Yikes. That's not him. That's not who he is. That's, That's just... not our Hellboy. <laughs> He's got options. He's got a choice. You give me your word. Take the sword before it's too late. He keeps breaking his promises. Take it now. Now the sword has returned to us. At least I won't be here to watch the world wither and die. He's got some good teeth for having been dead for a long time. Short welcome <laughs> back. Run. Yeah, go on, run. Hey, so far, the British government has failed to pinpoint the origin of the plague, which is spreading at an unprecedented rate. Oh my gosh. How do you stop this? I don't know. Uh, it's an upgrade for England. <laughs> Just <Yeah>. kidding. <laughs> Death! Hello! Well, boy, sorry my queen couldn't be here to greet you in person. 
Oh my gosh, he's upgraded. Hey, this is a house of worship. Be respectful. Yeah. Oh, oh no. God. Yeah, why can... I, there's no rules, I thought... I guess he could enter churches always. I'll agree to this role if I have a moment where my shirt is off. Mm -hmm. I need to show my abs, um, please. Yep. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Has he done this before? Oh, does he like turn into that jaguar creature? That'd be cool. Oh gosh. What happened to his teeth? Eee. Oh. Oh boy. Sexy. I mean, I would go with this look over the pig, though, any day. Team. Oh. Let's eat some barbecue. Still has his consciousness, I guess, because he didn't go for Hellboy. Yeah. What about her powers? Let him go. The deal. I found you. Oh, he's about to die. And I am the end. <laughs> Forgive me. Push him to the end. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad. Well, this ain't free. <laughs> you help me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. This movie. <laughs> we are bound together by fate. Not this crap again, lady. Some lessons bear repeating. She's like, we go together. Oh, what? The sword. Oh, what? This is destiny. Remember she said, don't make fun of it. Fate. I don't know what your game is here, but I'm done playing. Very well. Oh, there's there's that curse. I already have a few. You just don't know it yet. No. no. I was pretty gangster as she took him out though. She's just pfft, mm -hmm. like effortless. <laughs> All because you were too cowardly to use Excalibur when you had the chance. Both your fathers would be ashamed. Oh, here we go. Does he get the crown? I get the crown. That shit's cool. I want him to grow out his horns. Oh, oh, your wish came true immediately. Amazing. Let the freak flag fly. Look. What a crown. Whoa. Oh no. They'll be alright, I saw Stranger Things. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, poor guy. Oh man! Oh my gosh, what? He just ripped his face off? Oh no, that's, that, this is... This is like some biblical shit, yo. Why do Hell's creatures always gotta be ugly? Why can't they look beautiful like... Uh, Maxim and GQ models. Mean people are ugly. Stop. Stop. She wants to use you, make you into something you're not. So stop being a whiny little shit and show her she's wrong. It's fascinating to have a demon guy you have to like deal with his conscience. Grow a pair. You're a man. And a good one. Act like it. <laughs> you better act right. You are the great beast of the apocalypse. This is the real you. It always has been. My king. I love the receding hairline for Hellboy. Oh! She's like, not again. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a mess to clean up. He better not shoot Hellboy after doing this. Yeah, he's upgraded though. I mean, is that little bullet gonna do anything against him? No, that's true. We are destined for one another. 
We will meet again. Girl. On the last day of the ending of the world. <laughs> Don't you let this. Lady, quit while you're e ahead. E <laughs> <laughs> that was a good cheesy pun. Okay, yeah, we're here. Hell yeah. Yeah, it kind of has like a James Gunn vibe. Guardians. Yeah, this is like the Guardians 3 shot before mm -hmm. Guardians 3. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Check it out. Yeah, the clothes. Who that? Sequel. If you sapien, anyone know what that means? I'm, I'm clueless there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was fun. Yeah. How did you feel about David Arbor? Hellboy. I loved it. I think it established its tone in the first sentence. Mm -hmm. And it was it was a very unique tone, but it felt like I don't even know if I can fully describe it, mm -hmm. but I thought it was the perfect tone for a character like Hellboy, and they went with it the whole movie, which I loved that consistency of it. It, it definitely didn't pull its punches. Yeah. Yeah. Um how do you feel about David Arbor? He's great. Yeah. I really love him as an actor, mm -hmm. and I thought I think this is a perfect role for him. I, I, like that, like big, lovable but kind of brute character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All of our opinions are gonna be completely just about Hellboy 2019, and we're not gonna compare it to right. the other Hellboys. Okay, just to be clear. So um, Mila Jovovich looks fantastic. I mean, she ages wonderfully i don't know what like i don't know what she is digesting to maintain that youthful look but she looks as good as she did like 20 years ago it's shocking yeah uh and i, I thought that she was a wonderful presence to this film she got the assignment and she did a great job the visual effects from you know was ropey sometimes mm -hmm. uh but other instances i i was quite impressed with it the violence just went to levels i was like well i guess it is 2019 and so you kind of have to push it as hard as you can, you know, considering that Game of Thrones and stuff like that is out there and, and whatnot, you know, the violence is at a new level. You know, it was intended to make you feel upset, <laughs> grossed out, and it definitely worked. They would hover on these close-ups of, like, the, the designs of, like, how mangly people looked and whatnot, and it was just, like, quite upsetting and unnerving sometimes. Uh, it was definitely the grossest movie I've watched in some time, but it was still entertaining, especially with David Arbor and what he brings to it. I think that he is, he's got just a wonderful vocal quality to mm -hmm. him and he's got that size he's he have, he very much has that sort of dad vibe to him you know what i mean and it was it was interesting to see him in this role where he is dealing with his own parental issues cuz his you know, origin is so complicated. He's a creature from hell. He finds this out later, uh well like the exact beginnings of it and how he you know, actually came into being in the company of his father to begin with. It's very complicated and the humans just don't treat him all that well. And here you have this temptation from this demon lady who is gorgeous. Like, how do you say no? And he, you know, he, he fought against the greatest temptation of all time, which would have made him, you know, ruler of earth. It would have been an awful place. Uh, maybe he's just come so accustomed to like the human, uh, what do you call it? Um, conveniences like Taco Bell and mm -hmm. you know McDonald's and Netflix and all that right or streaming Amazon yeah <laughs> You know? Yeah, I. she was great. Mm -hmm. I give Hellboy all the props for not falling in that trap because mm -hmm. she's like, my king, gorgeous and powerful, mm -hmm. and the humans did suck. Mm -hmm. But I liked the ragtag team at the end. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really well earned yeah. between the three of them, Daniel Day Kim and Sasha Lane, the character Alice. Mm -hmm. I thought those were really cool ways to integrate the pig and the fairies in her and in the... I thought it was a really tight script. The Some of the visuals took me out either because it was so gross or it was clearly CGI heavy. But I thought the story itself was great and I loved the tone. I just thought it was funny and gross and different than other comic book type movies we see. Yeah, it's actually kind of refreshing to be honest yeah. with you because you we are so accustomed to the PG-13 uh, comic book film mm -hmm. because generally those historically have just made the most money. Uh, and so we've seen things kind of break that mold like... Uh, Deadpool is the easiest one I can think of. I know there have been others like Blade and whatnot, but Deadpool is the more recent easy one to go to. Mm -hmm. And so this struck that perfect balance of, you know, humor, relatability, and 
violence. And the, and the action was actually really, really good. The shots of where they were doing the long takes and whatnot, I was thoroughly impressed by. This predates Guardians of the Galaxy 3. The long takes that they were doing you know, you kind of mentioned it. I, I thought it was really, really nice the way they did that. And it feels almost like a precursor to Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in the way they did that epic shot. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, that's why I'm referencing Totally. I, I know that there's tons of films and shows that have done long takes right. that are really, really just cool. the most recent. Yeah, uh, but this one was just so well-crafted in that I didn't even notice when they were cutting, when the camera was moving around and whatnot as they're d destroying all these dudes. It's like... I was just following with it, and then I was like, wait a second. I, I realized, like, later on, the analytical part of my brain picks up late. I'm like, wait, this is, like, hasn't even cut yet, and it looks so good. Uh, the action was definitely there, man. I mean, they, yes. they, I felt like they did a lot right. I don't. Me too. You know, this, I completely missed this when it came out, and I don't even remember a single advertisement for it. Same. So I was like, yo, like, I, I don't understand why this fell under the radar. I'm a little bit surprised that there haven't been any rumblings about a sequel to this, at least that I'm aware of. I would totally check out a sequel if, a, a, you know, one was developed for it. And it'd be cool if they found a way to bring Ian McShane back. The way Hellboy and him play off of each other in, is interesting. It gives an interesting dynamic, the, the father-son relationship. I think that's just cool. And it wouldn't surprise me if they found a way to bring Mila Jovovich back, you know, because it's just, he only threw her head into hell. We don't know what happened to it. They had... <laughs> I don't want to see if she's anything like Baba Yaga or whatever. Yeah, Baba Yuga. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Yeah. Um, she needs to be locked up and burned to pieces. Yeah. That was one of the grossest and gr best creature effects I've seen in a while. That that part was yeah. really so well in the house was so creative. Mm -hmm. Uh it was definitely some of the best stuff I've seen since Pan's Labyrinth, you know. Uh the pa Pan's Labyrinth is very famous for having some interesting like movement work and the movement here was phenomenal that i don't like i couldn't tell the difference between cgi and practical in this one half the time with, mm -hmm. with that stuff with the pig creature i could tell um when it was like i don't know how they did it but there, sometimes when the pig creature was in the background he looked more real like it was a practical costume or something like that it was when he was like talking with a lot of muscle movement that's when i was like okay it's cgi but it still looks good you know the important part is whether or not you buy into it i bought into most of this it was just like it was it bothered me when it needed to you know, yeah. and it entertained me when it needed to. It did all the things that a movie should. I don't know that I would go back and watch this again just because of how gross it gets sometimes. That's like not my first go-to, but I was definitely amused, entertained, and you know, that's what counts at the end of the day. I was really entertained, and the pig creature, it's probably a coincidence, but funny, Guardians of Volume 3, mm -hmm. remember the pig creature? High evolutionary. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so there was just that similar. That was mm -hmm. the first time I've seen another pig, like, animatronic type character like that. For me, he was like a scary Bebop um, from Ninja Turtles. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bebop Rocksteady? You know, <laughs> yeah. It's just like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, yeah, he was gross. Yeah, he came out the gate, like, just, just tearing people apart. I was like, whoa. They're... Great accent choice. I love the voice work for him. Well, they definitely had a lot of fun with voices in this. Yeah. At the top of the hierarchy, you have this beautiful queen, Mila Jovovich, and no one else looks that good. Mm -mm. Everyone else just looks like... <laughs> no. <laughs> you know? And she's like, Hellboy, my king. Exactly. You beautiful man. Fun music choices as well. We're in an era where these music choices get picked because they're like, they're familiar. And so it kind of convinces your brain in a way that something might be better than it is. Mm -hmm. But I thought the music was actually quite appropriate here and fun. It definitely had a sort of, speaking of whom, James Gunn kind of vibe, mm -hmm. you know, in, in that like, it's showing you that it's not really taking itself seriously. It's just having a good time. Yeah. And so I think that we all kind of felt that together, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys let us know your feelings in the comments below. I am Jabby Kuwait. This is Steps of Raw. Peace out.